I'm Sean Nelson, inventor of sectionals. I'm gonna show you how to unbox your sectionals pieces. When they arrive, your sectionals pieces will look a lot like this. They might get a little beat up in transit, no big deal. This one actually came through FedEx. The pieces inside are extremely tough and they're encased in plastic. So don't sweat a small puncture, tear, or mark on the box, no big deal. Take a pair of scissors, your car keys, a razor knife, slice the tape, keeps it all closed up. And notice a couple cool things on the box. Number one, the bottle count right here. This tells you how many plastic bottles went into the making of this product. We recycle plastic bottles into our gray upholstery fabric, very proud of that. And on the inside of this flap are these setup instructions. Very useful if you've never done it before. Unfold it, flip it over, and the easiest way is to just let the piece slide out. Now, before you move on to setting this up, flatten the box, okay? You're going to probably be unboxing many sectionals pieces, we hope, for a giant setup that's gonna be amazing but it can become chaotic very quickly in your living room if you don't take care of your trash. Besides that, we really want you to recycle these boxes. They're made from recyclable cardboard and we'd love to see you not throw them in the landfill. Next, go ahead and tear off the plastic covering that protects your sectionals in their voyage across oceans through FedEx delivery to your door, what have you. Gather the trash, keep it clean. Your sectionals piece comes compressed for easy shipping and a lower carbon footprint. We're very proud that shipping sectionals pieces, particularly seeds, uses less than 50% of the space typically needed for other couches that might be competitive. These teal bars only purpose really is to keep the cushions compressed up inside the otherwise hollow hardwood sectionals frame. If you push on the cushion and rotate the bar a few degrees, it will pop right out. These aluminum bars make great tomato planters. You can repurpose them in numerous ways. Cool lightsaber maybe. They can also be recycled. So please gather them and place them in your recycling. Peel the seat cushion out and place it on the floor. It will begin to recover. The back pillow is also crammed up inside above the seat cushion and will come slightly compressed. Use your hands to fluff this back pillow. Again, organize everything. Stack your seat cushions in one spot, back pillows in another. Staying organized is the key to an easy setup with sectionals. Finally, the secret ingredients. Very proud of shoes, clamps, wooden peg feet that come included with every seat and every side. The cool thing about these secret ingredients is that not only do they facilitate the patented connecting system of sectionals, but they're also guaranteed for life and impervious to destruction. Keep them organized. If you want to unpack them from their individually wrapped box, Go ahead and tear that box open. Recycle that box. And I would gather like pieces to like areas. Feet stacked together. Shoes in another pile. And gather your clamps all together. These circular felt pads are included with each pack of secret ingredients. There are more than you need, not only for use on the bottom of shoes, but also, if you like, on the bottom of these peg feet. Sometimes, depending on the configuration, your sectionals will be placed on a floor without shoes, maybe in the case of an ottoman or in the case of a chaise piece, and the peg feet will come in contact with tile or wood or some kind of hard surface. Feel free to use these included felt pads on either shoes or feet as you like. If you're placing your sectionals on carpet, you don't need to use any felt pads at all. The next step to setting up a sectional seat is screwing the feet on. Go ahead and lay your sectionals on the floor. 
take your four peg feet that are included with each sectional seat, pop off the protective rubber caps, and screw the peg feet into the metal anchors that are already in place on the bottom of your sectional seat. These anchors are also unique to Love Sack and proprietary. They actually go all the way through the wood, connecting on the other side, threaded, as well as screwed in. This is so these peg feet can be extremely strong. Go ahead and put all four feet into the holes, and then you'll be ready to set up your sectional seat into whatever couch configuration suits your needs. Screw each foot on nice and snug, but don't over tighten. No need to risk stripping a thread. Tight feet will keep the sectional seat from any kind of rattling or movement once placed inside the shoes. Flip the seat over, place it on the floor, and it's ready for covering. One way to get your seat cushions to recover quickly in case they've been packed for a long time and maybe the bars have left depressions on the bottom of the seat cushion is to lay it on the floor and walk on it, stomp on it, move it around, fluff it. These seat cushions are also built to last and designed for durability. So feel free to beat them up a little, get them nice and fluffy and ready for covers. It's crucial that you take the time to fluff your back pillows. Back pillows from Love Sack are in three separate chambers to keep them tall and smooth. Grab the fill inside of the back pillow with your hands and separate it. Fluff out each separate channel and beat these things up so they're nice and fluffy and ready for a cover to fill out. Each sectional seat includes a seat cushion and a back pillow. A deep seat is exactly the same, only the back pillow is six inches shorter and is meant to be placed in a deep configuration. Each sectional's piece is built to last a lifetime and designed to evolve with you as your life changes. Mine at home are more than a decade old and have been mated with all of our new inventions from sectionals tables to power hubs to stealth tech. The part that makes me most proud about these sectionals pieces that could be with you for the rest of your life if you like is that all of this gray upholstery was made from 100% recycled plastic water bottles. There are more than 80 plastic water bottles that have gone into the making of the upholstery of this one seat in my hand right now. Lovesack products divert more plastic water bottles from the waste stream than any company in the United States making home deck fabric. If you're unboxing a storage seat, all the same rules apply. Cut it open. Get it out of the box. Pay attention to the instructions on the lid of the box. Fold all the flaps down. And go ahead and just dump it out. It's the easiest way. Go ahead and just tear the plastic off the outside. Sectional storage seats have all the same components as regular seats. You've got a seat cushion and a back pillow packed up inside of the otherwise hollow hardwood frame. The storage seat lid is held in place with these cool Love Sack cargo straps that you can just take off using the buckle and remove. And then we encourage you to utilize these straps. They make great motorcycle tie downs, gear ties, take your pick. They're sturdy, they're strong, and included with every storage seat, there are two of them. The storage seat lid is also upholstered inside of our gray fabric made from plastic water bottles. It has sinuous steel springs across the top and is durable and guaranteed for life. Remove the seat cushion. Organize it by setting it aside in a nice neat pile. Remove the back pillow. Storage seats include these two convenience holes in the bottom of the plywood chamber, allowing quartz to pass through and possible future inventions and innovations from Love Sack to mate with your storage seats. Screw in each peg feet on the bottom of your storage seat, and then you're ready for covering. Like all products at Love Sack, storage seats are built to last a lifetime and designed to evolve. They're overbuilt to withstand any kind of demands that life may throw at them. Even the removable lid of the storage seat is a solid hardwood frame beveled to nest right into the top of your storage seat cavity. There are sinuous steel springs across the top and it comes with the same lifetime warranty of typical sectionals. I wouldn't recommend using it as a trampoline, 
but they're that tough. Your storage seat leg can be lifted at any time. You can keep your blankets, workout gear, kids' toys, or anything else inside of these storage seats. And now your storage seat is ready for covers. This is a sectional side in a box as it would arrive to you at your door. Take your scissors or a razor, cut the tape across the top. As you open the box flap, you'll reveal the instructions to help you set it up. The easiest thing is just to turn the whole thing over and peel the box up slowly, allowing the piece to fall out of the bottom. The plastic bag around the piece is meant to keep it safe and dry during shipping. Go ahead and break the tape, peel it open, and discard it. One of the neatest things about a sectional side is how efficient they are for shipping. In this clamp hole, you have the secret ingredients. Inside of this box is a solid steel clamp to mate it to a sectional seat and two peg feet to be screwed in on the bottom of the sectional's piece. In this hole at the bottom, you're able to stick your hand in the side clamp hole and shove out the shoe that rides for free up inside your sectionals. A sectional shoe is protected by this recyclable foam film, and it's a solid wood connecting system unique to sectionals. You'll notice that I'm holding the sectional side up on one edge intentionally, because this Velcro that's on the bottom, if accidentally placed on your carpet, will stick to it. I like to get those peg feet on first. The peg feet come with a little silicone cap on top. Remove it and discard it. Each peg foot is meant to screw in to the anchors already located on the bottom of each sectional's piece. They're very easy. Screw the feet on snugly so they won't rattle or anything like that, but don't over tighten. You don't want to risk stripping any threads. With the wood feet installed in the bottom, your sectional side is ready for covering and eventually to be mated to a sectional seat in any couch configuration you can imagine.